Stereotyping, why some people think INFJs are intimidating. If you are watching this video, you can be one of the following, an INFJ wanting to learn more about themselves or someone who wants to better understand the INFJ that they know. Regardless of where you stand in that aspect, this video will be essential in helping you create a clearer and more appropriate idea on who really are INFJs. Whether we like it or not, it seems to be a part of being an INFJ that some people will find you intimidating. Hello and welcome back to Inspiration Calling. One of the things we will learn about an INFJ in this channel are the reasons why people get intimidated by them. But before we even get there, help us grow our community by subscribing to our channel. This is a safe space to learn more about you, your personality, and anything involving psychology. Please don't forget to click the notification bell too so we can notify you whenever we upload new content. If you're done with that, let's get straight into the video. 1. They have a unique stare. If you ever know an INFJ or you are an INFJ yourself, you may have noticed that people comment or notice your stare the most. They say that you have this unique stare that seems to be piercing through the soul and penetrates their whole being. You may be just sitting in a room and an INFJ stares at you in the most intense way. We know that this could feel very awkward as if they are reading and judging your whole being. Besides, who likes getting stared at randomly, right? This is why some people get intimidated by INFJs. Due to their INFJ stare. However, you should know that the INFJ is most likely not trying to intimidate you. Well, it may be true that they are trying to read you and your body language but most of the time, it's just because something in you caught their attention or something you said had them thinking deeply. They may not be staring at you at all but just thinking of something else or daydreaming. You know, INFJs can get so deep into their thoughts to the point that they forget they are already staring at another person. Regardless of what the reason is, some people get intimidated because they do not know how to respond to someone staring at them intensely. But do not fret, INFJs do not like conflict. Their stares probably do not mean to harm you or judge you. 2. They are very mysterious individuals. Aside from the fact that they are introverts, INFJs are known to have so much value on their privacy. It is very fascinating how they can get you to open up to them about your fears, experiences, and even traumas but you would not find out a single thing about them. This is due to their great confident nature. However, some people find this intimidating because of the fact that they feel exposed at the end of the conversation. Although you should not worry because your secrets are safe with an INFJ, some people find it hard to interact with someone with such mysterious yet comforting energy. Just know that this does not mean they do not like you. Most INFJs just take a lot of time before they can open up to someone. They have such deep minds and thoughts that you will need quite some patience before getting to know them. 3. They are devoted individuals. An INFJ may be able to hide their secrets or experiences but they can never hide their strong and dominant character traits. Some of which are being idealistic, determined, passionate and devoted. INFJs hold their values, interests, dreams and aspirations in high regard. INFJs frequently approach things with an all-or-nothing mentality, which is a result of their idealism and perfectionism. They must make every effort to go toward the wonderful future they see, or they will perish. Realizing their dreams is not just a luxury or privilege for an INFJ, it is something quite else. They see it as a moral requirement. Anyone who professes to have any kind of ambition may find the ways in which INFJs value generosity, are drawn to others, dream of creative expression, and long for a life of freedom and autonomy daunting. When they realize how weak their own commitment to a given cause is in comparison to the INFJ's seeming unshakable commitment, they become intimidated. 4. Their curiosity never dies. There are some people who get satisfied by just knowing what they need to know but an INFJ is the opposite. Aside from the things they want to know, they have a whole other thing that they are curious about. Their hunger for knowledge and understanding just never stops. Especially when it comes to people, abstract and complex concepts from the arts, humanities and sciences, just expect an INFJ's curiosity to peak. This is how they acquired their wide knowledge and wisdom of the world. 
INFJs are known to be highly sympathetic and curious about the inner lives of others. As a result, they frequently ask probing inquiries that help bring out a person's underlying nature or essence. To some people, this can be very intimidating because aside from being very well-rounded about their general knowledge of things, the questions they ask can be too straightforward. Of course, you would feel intimidated if the person you met just a little while back is already asking you questions that encourage deep conversations. 5. They are very independent. INFJs have a deep understanding and belief that each individual is entitled to their own autonomy and decision. Their personality type also tends to work like lone wolves or do tasks on their own. INFJs desire to be strong, financially independent, and autonomous individuals who can not only survive, but also thrive as they create the life they want. They demand it of themselves because they are aware that it is the fundamental cornerstone upon which to construct the life of their dreams. While INFJs can easily fit into any social structure or hierarchy by adopting a role or persona that would allow them to function for at least a short while within that social structure, in reality, INFJs detest hierarchy, especially when it requires blind loyalty on the part of its participants to whatever authoritarian entity that reigns supreme within that structure. People may find this intimidating because INFJs can get so focused on their independence. They also do well on their own which makes people think that maybe they do not like being in the group or do not need any help from them. 6. They can notice almost everything. INFJs are deep thinkers by nature and this extends to how they are able to notice even the small details. They are very observant and they even notice the slightest change in the mood, feel, behavioral patterns, and even non-verbal cues of people. This is why most of the INFJs are referred to as highly sensitive individuals. However, no matter how beneficial this may be, it can still be very intimidating for other people. Their observational skills may make other people feel as if they are being watched at all times. This can result in them not showing their real selves when around an INFJ. 7. They are highly competitive individuals. Part of an INFJ's identity are their empathy as well as caring and loving nature but this does not mean that they can never be competitive at all. In fact, they are one of the personality types that have such high competitiveness especially in things they are passionate about. We have already established how devoted and passionate an INFJ can be. This contributes to the competitiveness that they have. Once they get hooked into something and feel challenged by it, they will get very competitive and will do their best to win at things. This can intimidate other people because they can take this trait negatively. However, they should not because aside from their competitiveness, INFJs are also known to be growth-oriented and eager to learn and push their boundaries which means that they are not competing over you just because they want to beat you. They are engaging in such challenges to develop those aspects. Plus, INFJs are not sore losers too. They will most likely accept the result especially when they see that it is fair and just. That's it for today's video. You can leave any of your questions, suggestions, or reactions in the comments section below. We'd love to hear from you. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get notified whenever a new video is up. Until next time. Thank you for watching.